All right. Joining me to talk about all of it is Jeff Lewis with Jeff Lewis Law. We appreciate you joining the show. Thanks for having me. Of course. Well, let's jump right into this. Of course, uh, we know Rudy Giuliani back in court this week. Uh, th my understanding is that the judgment in this case has actually been decided. Right now, what they're trying to figure out is how much is he going to pay? That's exactly right. As a discovery sanction for violating discovery rulings, liability has already been established. So the only thing the jury is going to determine is how much is necessary to compensate these two plaintiffs and how much is necessary to punish Mr. Giuliani. Talk to me about what we could be looking at in terms of financial recourse for these poll workers that, uh, you know, essentially alleged libel uh, and uh, court has ruled it already. Well, look, the plaintiffs are asking for anywhere between 15 and $45 million. I predict that the ultimate award will be closer to $45 million based on comments made last night by Rudy Giuliani, where he expressed absolutely no remorse regarding the statements he's made and the damage that's, that's been done. Uh, talk to me about the seriousness of this case, given the fact that it's American poll workers, also that it was a high-ranking member in a presidential administration who uh, was a very close ally with the president uh, and a number of other people who are already being charged for uh, very similar things and who said and made similar comments throughout all of this. Could others, I suppose, be implicated in this, and does this set the bar for what happens next? Absolutely. You know, the consequences of this trial will, will echo far outside the participants who are engaged in this trial. This is the first time that I can recall that a jury is going to be weighing in on the big lie and whether or not a defendant could be liable for repeating the big lie. And I would expect if the result goes against Giuliani, that future people prosecuted for the same type of defamation will point to this uh, legal proceeding. On the other hand, people will say, look, Mr. Giuliani only lost because of discovery sanctions. There's no precedential effect in this case. In terms of targeting poll workers in the future, do you think this will make political candidates or others vying for a political office maybe think twice about the things that they say and whether or not they're true or not? I don't think so. Um, our, our politics have become so polarized. I, I do think big media companies might be more cautious about what they say, given what happened between Dominion and the People Dominion suit. But in terms of politicians, I think the, the, the conversations are just going to get worse and worse. Yeah, and we uh, start to see that, especially as the 24 election starts to heat up. If this comes down, though, to that whopping, I say, $45 million decision or anything in the millions, do you think that will work as a deterrent at all? I, I really don't. I think what pol politicians do what politicians are going to do. And keep in mind, Rudy Giuliani has so many legal problems and so many people chasing after him for money in terms of former lawyers and everything else. I'm not sure these two plaintiffs are ever going to get paid a nickel. They'll get a big judgment, $45 million, but whether money goes in their pockets, uh, that, that, that it's a long shot. Jeff Lewis with Jeff Lewis Law We're over in California. We appreciate you joining the show. Anything we didn't ask you, anything you'd like to add? Well, one other thing I'll just point out is that Alex Jones is in a similar situation. He had a defamation case. He had a discovery sanction. Liability was established. There was a trial on damages. And just recently, he asked a bankruptcy court to excuse his payment, to discharge it. And the bankruptcy court said no because it was a willful and malicious act. I bring this up because last night, Rudy Giuliani said he had no regrets regarding the statements that he made. And that kind of statement could come back to haunt the former mayor in it, if he tries to get this debt in terms of these two plaintiffs discharged in bankruptcy. We'll be definitely quote, uh, paying close attention to all of that. Jeff Lewis, thanks for joining the show. We sure do appreciate it. Thanks for having me.